Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will show you that how we can easily join a Excel file with our shape file attribute table. It's very important for visualization the different types of data in our map. So that's why in this time I also show you this process. You just follow this process. I hope you can easily join any kind of shape file with your CSV file or Excel file. So first of all here you can see I already import a boundary shape file in my QJS software and you can see also this is my data okay. So in this time this data in Excel file this data I want to join with my attribute table so mainly shape file attribute table. So here you can see here I can get already imported the boundary shape file. So now I want to open my attribute table here you can see. Here you can see this is my uh, attribute table. So now I just merge, mainly I want to join this Excel file with my attribute table. Okay. So first of all, you need to save this file as a CSV file. So just I simply click on here file and here you can just save as button. And then further I simply uh, import my, uh, I simply choose my folder where I want to save it. So I want to save it suppose in my uh, download folder and further I put the save as I put the CSV okay and then further I want to save in my download folder so then save okay so now it's saved as a CSV file so now I just simply open my QGIS software here I already imported my boundary shape file so further you are just click on the layer button here you can see the add layer from that layer you can simply find out the add delimited text layer so just simply click on here and further you can simply click on here three dot sign and simply open your file mainly your csv file uh, i simply can see this is my csv file i simply select these things and in this time we, you can also see about the sample data in here you can see we find out the feed district name and population as well as also you can see the uh, geometry definition in this time this this table there is no any kinds of coordinate Okay, so that's why in this time we are simply select the geometry attribute table only. Okay, so simply select this option, it default selected. So you can, uh, when you want to work with the point or other thing, then you have to send the point coordinate. So in this time, it's just a attribute table only. So just simply select here no geometry and attribute table, and further just simply click on the add option. So in this time, here you can see it will be added in my in here population data. So further I simply click on the boundary shape file and go to the properties. From the properties you simply open the joins. So here, here you can see we can get this type of interface. Simply click on the plus mainly in this time I want to add a new join. So click on here. In this time here you can see it already show about that the population data. This is my file name population data. It's join layer. I want to join this layer and we can see the join field. In this time, I want to use here the join field. I want to save uh, a common field feed and for the target field, I simply set the district name. Okay. And join fields, I simply click on here. Here you can say I simply need that suppose district name and I put need the population data. Okay. So I want to add with that two things. So further, I just simply click on the OK and finally also apply and also OK. So now in this time, I simply open my attribute table. And further try to open this attribute table from here. Here you can see we can get this type of things. Mainly it's about that population district name and also population uh, name here you can see. So in this time it shows this type of null value. But I don't know why it did show the null. So let me check try again. What is the problem in here? So I just try to join again. So just I simply go to the properties. And I just simply remove the previous join I just simply remove that and try to add the new join and first of all I simply put my data and join field I want to join field with my suppose district name okay and target field I also put here the district name and further click on the join fields and I simply select all of the column okay and further just click on the uh, okay and also apply and okay so now let's check what happened about our data so just open this attribute table okay so now perfectly 
here we find out all of those you can see population data we can get from here uh, mainly population uh, data it also added with our shape file attribute table okay so basically this is the process for adding this data and from here you can also uh, different types of manipulation about this data suppose you need you don't need this type of column okay then you can simply remove this type of things from here and use it so now you can easily make the population density map or any kind so basically this is the process for adding the shape file data with our excel file suppose you have a shape file and shape file you can store the different types of data it can be population density population migration population birth rate any kind of data so now you want to use the you want to want to make this type of thing so first of all you need to connect the shape file with your attribute table so using this process in QJS, you can easily add these things and you can easily work with that okay so you also try and further face any problem then let me know i also guide you thank you for watching that